Hi there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a quiz where students are required to record their answers, whether using audio or video. And there are two ways to do this. One is just with audio or video, and the other is with audio and video plus transcript. So you can see I created one, just audio and video, where I just play it. And then I recorded it again. Okay, and there you can see the transcript. Isn't that amazing? Let me show you how that's done. So you turn editing on as the teacher. You go into add an activity or resource. Go into activities. Choose quiz. This is a Moodle practice course and you can practice as well. Just let me know if you're interested. Going to go into quiz, click on that. And then I'll give it a name. I'll say record your answer. Okay, whatever the answer. Okay, record your answer. And then I'll decide on the timing. When do I open the quiz and close it? And if there's a time limit, I can add in minutes or notice here in hours and days <laughs> okay so that's very useful and when time expires open attempts are submitted automatically there is a grace period attempt must be submitted before time expires and so on and then the grade notice grade to pass out of 80 or 100 or whatever you'd like it to be or 60 and then attempts i always like unlimited grading method highest grade layout every question and then you can show more. This is the quiz. And then question behavior. You can decide which one you want. If you're not sure, you just go to the question mark and it explains everything. And then uh, let's continue here. Review options. That's up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Let's open that up. All right, and then appearance, the way to look, decimal part, places and grades, zero. Show blocks during quiz, you can, you don't have to. If you have a question, go into question mark, safe exam browser, yes, no, extra restrictions. Overall feedback, you can add that. And then common module settings, if you want groups, force language, not restrict access, that's up to you. Completion, all right, I usually add requirements and receive a grade and passing grade. That's how I usually do it. And then save and display. Notice you can't give 100, sorry about that. I did forget that, it's limited to 10, which is 100. All right, now we're going to go into add question. Click on that and go into add. Notice you've got a choice, add a new question from question bank or a random question. If you like giving quizzes, you will love Moodle. Notice here the different kinds of quizzes. I've got cloud record and notice what it says here. The text will be subscribed transcribed. So that's one. Another one, notice here, you've got different kinds is this one where it allows audio and video, but um, okay, they're graded manually. You can see the difference there. Okay. And there are other ones as well. So we're going to choose the one with the transcription, right? This one for a start. And you saw what it looked like at the end, but this is what it looks like. So this is default for the sandbox. You can also make a default for something else. Question name, record audio. It could be video as well or video. You know what? Let's give them a chance to do a video as well. And the question text. Um, why? are you taking this course okay it's just to get us going here and then uh status ready it's not a draft the default is 10 and then audio recording notice we have video we'll choose audio can choose both so audio for a start let's remove that we'll add 
that later on in another question. And then, and then they can have a choice. Audio. Now, one minute is a bit uh, fast. So I think that um, maybe two minutes, give them a chance. And then one, two, three for it to get started. One, two, three for audio and video. Standard subscription or no subscription. Why would I not do subscription? Interactive. Okay, we can do that. Transcode audio to MP4 and MP3. And then question resource. Save changes and continue editing. And then you get back there. I'm going to choose save changes and then I can try it out. Right, so let me stop the edit mode and go into the record your answer and then preview quiz as the teacher. So let's go into that and this is what it looks like. Okay, and notice here you need to allow, I'm going to allow every visit, even though it makes no difference because it's going to ask you each time. Notice my limitations, two. And the question is, why are you taking this course? All right, so let's hit record. I'm taking the course because I'm curious about what I can try out in the sandbox. I realize that I will have uh, teacher editing rights so I can try everything. I'm sure there are a lot of things to try out in a Moodle course, especially on this particular Moodle site because I know that the administrator has added a lot of plugins. Click on the record and then play. I'm taking the course because I'm curious. Stop, save, it'll upload. Notice on awaiting conversion. You wait until it's done, awaiting and waiting. Uploaded successfully. It didn't, wasn't 20 minutes, right? 20 seconds, minutes. So it should be fast. And then finish attempt. Or you can continue attempting as many times as you wish. Right? Return to attempt to try it over again. Or submit all the attempts. I only did one. But for students, it would be a few until they're satisfied with their answer. And then I can play it. I'm taking the course because I'm curious about what I can try out. Okay, so that's it. Record your answer. And we can do another one for video, but basically that's it. If you go into, uh, not the settings, but if you go into questions, you'll be able to add more questions. So you can click on add and you can add another one for video. All right, so that's basically it. Let's go back and to record your answer. Okay, we only have preview because you can also review, notice here, because um, I'm the teacher. So that's all I can see here. I can also go to the topic area and you notice this is where it will appear. Record your answer. If you'd like to see what a student sees, let me go in as a student. I'm here to take the course so I can learn about Moodle and the different plugins that are available, different activities, resources, and blocks. Okay, so delay, I stop, save, and finish. After that, submit all. That's how I set it up to submit. Now I'm going to go back as a teacher. Grade all. Okay, this is the one with just the recording without the transcription. And then uh, here we can give a grade out of one. All right. Okay, this is just the audio. And the other one was with the transcription. So, uh, okay, save and show next. There is no <laughs> next. So um, let's go back to record using record. And the course. Okay, record using record. There were two, I believe. And attempt one. Okay, and then go into manual because it's automatic grading, which is a good thing. 
and then we'll go into the second one, grade all, which is the one with the transcript. So here it is. And we can grade that out of one as well. Okay, actually I didn't record anything. I just pretended to record. And that's how it's done manually. Or whether you're using automatic uh, recording, you can set it up the way you want. If you have any questions about quizzes on Moodle 4.4.3, which is the current one that I'm using, feel free to um, ask in the comment box below and enjoy Moodling. Thank you.